course, is not about basically uh, uh, gadgets. In fact, we're surrounded by gadgets and sensors, but no one really knows it and uh, sees them uh, because that's uh, essentially something that we're trying to avoid. So just give me one second. I need to make sure that it's smart so that the system is adapts itself to the user's needs and behavior. So we adapt the environment to you and we make sure that you don't see anything of the hardware or technology. So, uh, as an individual, you wake up in the morning at 8.30 in the morning and the system is actually programmed and understands that you wake up at 8.30. So at around 8.15, based on your pattern of usage, it actually sets the system into the morning mood, what we have right now. So the uh, new lights, curtains open, and slightly... Uh, and you start moving into the kitchen and basically uh, what happens is that uh, you're going to sit have your coffee with your family and basically the lights come up, they change a little bit, the TV channel flicks to the children's uh, family channel and the kids are having uh, uh, their chocolate milk and breakfast as well as you having the beautiful scenic view uh, of the uh, ocean essentially in the back. Further, uh, later during the day, um, you will have guests coming over. And what happens is that the environment changes again, the light comes up, it's very welcoming. Uh, and what we do is, that, as you notice, it's now very lit up. Um, you decide to watch a movie, right? And when you go to the movie mode, what happens is behind you, the curtains start closing. Changes and now you have the movie setting, right? We also have things such as uh, different uh, uh, settings, such as, um, for example, breaking news. The system is automated so that if there is something that you follow, like a special bulletin board, and so on and so forth, it automatically flicks over the channel to the specific TV channel, and the lights and everything start basically going to a red uh, alert mode. As you can see, it alerts you about something. Important. The wall would change into. So imagine the following, you're uh, following a, a stock market, so that will become Bloom Bloomberg, this one will be then, lights alerting you that something happened in your stock option, or, and so on and so forth. Um, we, we have other controllers, we now open everything again, lighting up, open the curtains. There we go. Top of the and now we do uh, uh, other things. As you notice, there's a smart glass over there over the wall, on the wall. Yeah. And what we do here is very simply make it transparent. Yeah. So the, uh, the bow effect, yeah. exactly the bow effect, is literally that. Now that's the children's room, they're playing PlayStation and uh, Xbox, that's cool. Okay, go well, back to my environment. And you know what? I'm gonna change the mood to uh, something more green. The mountain view and basically the system is gonna change it to a iconic view of the mountain, things like that, right? right? So we have controllers of the door, so if someone rings at the door, we can see who it is at the door, and I can say, okay, you know what? Open the door, and the door just opens over there. Exactly. Um, and voice command. It can work with voice command, but in this specific case for the demo, that is very difficult to set it up, we've done it manually. But this okay. thing is also controlled based on NFC, or proximity sensors, Wi Fi, so it knows all of it. This is our home automation. I'm going to take you over to the TV now. So I'm going to show you the TV experience. Um, first, one moment is a uh, future vision of how TV experience would be. <coughs> right? So, standard TV, uh, and the, uh, uh, what you see here, this TV experience is for a user. So, yeah. it's connected to the device. Okay. It knows the uh, user. So okay. This is Mike coming in. There's a bit of information, location, weather, uh, feeds from uh, Facebook, Twitter, things that are happening with the content, uh, different things that my friends have watched, how long they watched, and so on. In addition, then we go into more depth. This is content which is specialized for me. All right. Whether it is recommended content, or things that I've already seen and based on my previous behavior, or things that I've frequently watched, so I've watched this frequently, this kind of series and so on. Things that I've already watched but they've never finished. You know, I could have uh, started a TV series but I didn't finish it, so now I can actually continue from where I left. Okay, 
my favorite, my favorite TV shows on recordings, and of course, if I want to promote uh, the video on demand, that's going to be the case as well. So we can do it. Now, in addition to this, we're going. Sorry. There we go. We're going to what's happening right now. This is TV right now. So, um, first thing, I'm going to say a concept about how you can view sports. The traditional viewing of sport is basically you have one TV channel and you have one. Now imagine from nowadays we have different channel feeds, uh, different TV channels, different games, or different camera feeds. Camera feed one, two, three, you can see the game from a different angle. You can have different now remember I said the, uh, the TV is aware of the user. So if you recall, Mike was watching the TV, right? I'm going to ask my wife to come in and my wife, Elsa, just walks in. And when she walks in, there we go. What happens is this. This is her favorite channel. Alright? So obviously I'm in room and so on and so forth. But now she was watching golf as well. So this is the uh, uh, the part where we actually understand the different users that are coming in. So, and it's not that just because you walk in front of the TV. No, it actually senses that you arrived, you sit, you wait for a while and okay, she's watching the TV. So now I'm going to add their stuff. Next thing is uh, well, one of my favorite uh, parts is basically what's happening right now. <laughs> this is one of the things that I like a lot is about on now. So traditional TV experience is that you have your EPG and uh, and that's it. But now if you recall there are two people in the room. Right? These are the TV channels and programs that are happening right now. The TV channels, the programs that I just list, the programs which are currently being played, the programs in the future. So I can catch up, the program in the future, or I can clearly watch this one. But as you notice, this is very important about the content, because the content is active. So now I'm changing down here to see what's happening. It's actually showing the exact episode of where it is right now and what's happening, and the timeline, and so on. This is one of my favorite features, actually, because it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you something. It was about the recommendation engine. I need to show you that as well. It's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in. watching, right? What I like to show you is I'm going to leave the room now. So when I leave the room, what's happening is basically my wife sitting there. So everything changed for her. These are her TV channels. So it's about your personal experience. It's about uh, content being tailored for you. Uh, it's about uh, 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 making sure that as a user you have the most out of the content that's possible. Like promoting content and exploring it. And that's it. That's very when, when would this be available to the public? I cannot say. <laughs>